Guys, I am so late. Okay, let me explain, all right? First of all, shout out Dead Rising. Best zombie game, I promise, is coming back to the channel. Side note, this shirt was actually made by a, a samurai. I've been open to mail in the background, but that's not what we're going to talk about. Spooky Scary Sunday. <laughs> on a freaking monday bars um i'm going off two hours of sleep right now i just spent about 10 hours editing that among us video that dropped on the channel please go semi slice that like button i went through hours and hours of footage and that was days ago like three or four days ago so i wanted to get that done now we're doing spooky scary sunday on a monday if you want to know why this wasn't up yesterday clearly you don't follow me on twitter which is a problem long story short i had a bad day yesterday got stung by a bee it was a mess but we're back uh spooky scary sunday it's a show where every sunday <laughs> every sunday <laughs> it's freaking monday the samurai come together we have a beautiful time we dancing we singing we screaming we sit back and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via twitter using the hashtag spooky scary sunday go to twitter follow me at cory kenshin hashtag spooky scary sunday and send me a link to the scariest video that you know and if you get picked you get a shout out so sit back relax grab some snacks go ahead get you some uh hot cheetos classic uh with some starburst and uh maybe a capri sun or two and with that being said first video <laughs> This first one is called The Devil's Passenger, and it was uploaded by Flix Horror. Now, this was sent to us by Ricky Myers, who said, I have a whole list of videos I want to send for Spooky Scary Sunday. Y'all hear that? Ricky trying to flex on y'all. He said he got a list. Now, I have to ask, if you see this, what would you do? I guess we about to find out, Ricky. <laughs> yes, sir. Flix Digital. <laughs> the Devil's Passenger. Actually, hold up. Let me turn this up. <clears throat> White van. Already spooky. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this are we popping this episode off? Can I get a play-by-play? -play? Like... Oh, that was a glove. Okay. Dang. Got snatched. It just on green. Nickname. Oh my. Okay, I'm going. I can't stand people like that. Yeah, just follow. Call it. Get on the phone. Call the cops. She followed them all day. No, 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 come on. You just now thinking to do this? And you're just gonna park right behind them okay. like they not watching you? You gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta go. Oh, God. Okay, okay. I hope you got a heater, Karen. She grabbed a pipe. Now, when they get out the van with a shotgun, what are you gonna do, huh? Uh, y'all hear that? feeling huh? what the? watch your back <gasps> what the freak spider webs <laughs> listen I tried to save you it seems like this, that girl, 
was a spider the whole time? Later? No, she about to get- Dave, you lost me. Okay, so I get that they have to go through this little ploy in order to get a new person. But what the freak is- what was the spider web? What was the levitation and freaking moral of the story, kids? Never walk up on white vans. Facts. <laughs> this next one is called. I wasn't looking. This next one is called Home Movies and it was uploaded by Dylan Clark. Now, this one was sent to us by Kayla who said, This one got me. Yes, my mom got a plant last week and we named her Momo. Well, since she was brought up, I, it's been a while. Let's say what's up to Momo. <laughs> yeah, tell him I've been taking care of you, girl. Look at you, getting all tall on me. You just remember, Momo. It's me and you against the world. Frick are you looking at? Oh, this part to be scary. Ugh. What you got, Dylan Clark? Yep, I would have put that right back in that box. Hannah, tell mommy what you're eating. How much food? You're eating chicken nuggets and some skanky yogurt. <laughs> what would you eat other than chicken nuggets? What's her background? I said yogurt. No, not yogurt. Blah, blah, blah. The first. Oh, is that? <laughs> yeah. Is that her? Um, Nala. Must be. No. Did you have to? Oh. Um. I got a door moving in the background. No. Can we go find Hannah? <laughs> They got us all into this home movie. What the freak is that? <sighs> the atmosphere is, is really good. What is that? Who pressed play? Oh. 
Oh, that's a person! Oh my gosh. Do you not see that person in the doorway? Nah, nah. It's time to burn up or shut up. Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all. I see somebody in my house. You gonna have to kill me. I'm about to give you everything I got. You better be stronger than me. You better have a weapon. You better have something that I don't. It ain't gonna be no talking. No, get out of here. What are you doing here? I'm just coming at you, boy. Get on my... I I'll go into a frenzy. I would become animalistic you're gonna die i'm not calling the cops until you're dead coming up in my freaking house i went to the camera here let's see it's like i flipped look on my hand oh look at this treasure trove what the freak yes smart smart Get the freak out of Dodge. <gasps> what? What? The camera controls? That's cheating! It brought her back down. You can't slice that ghost. What you want to do? Now you don't know where it's at. Now you don't know where it's at. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, done, no. Hannah, where are you going? What the freak? It's not even plugged in. Run! That was on some paranormal activity stuff. Wait, was it the girl's name in the video, Hannah? Hannah Clark, Alice Clark, Dylan Clark. This was for real a family home movie. Stellar work, stellar. That was a good one. So a whole fly just gonna come in here, huh? You just gonna come in my house? Like you pay rent in here, you just think you about to move in, huh? <laughs> this next one is called I've Committed the Unforgivable Mistake and it was uploaded by Juan C Entertainment. Now this was sent to us by Maya who said, I got my snack. Good job, Maya, because <laughs> I didn't want to have to come for you. Now, Maya, there is still a question that needs to be answered. Did you send my slice that like button yet? Maya, before you babble anything out of your mouth, just remember, I know. It's crazy the amount of information you can get off someone just from their Twitter handle. So why don't you make sure you go ahead and do that, Maya? Thank you. I've committed the unforgivable. I'm someone who goes on the deep and dark web constantly. It's not what people... Back up from your mic. People think where it's evil and overpopulated with crazy people. 
that's only a small percentage of the dark web. Okay. Years ago, my girlfriend broke up with me and I put her personal information on the forum. And soon after that, this man is a psychopath. His girlfriend broke up with him, so he put her information on a deep web. Personal information on the forum, and soon after that, she disappeared. It's been a while since that happened. She did, and I've ran into people that have disrespected me since. I'm not an intimidating guy, nor do I look intimidating, nor do I ever have physical or verbal conflicts. I always think to myself that these people don't know what could happen to them. I work at a fast. This dude is light yagami with the death note. You make you make this dude mad. I'm putting you on a deep web. <laughs> oh, you stepped on my shoe? Deep web. Oh, didn't match me on Tinder, huh? Deep web. Didn't Samurai slice the like button on this video, Maya? You know where you about to go, huh? It's food restaurant. And at the time of this story, my manager was really on my case about everything. I would be late, mess up orders, have an attitude with customers and some other stuff I could name, but it's so much. I understood that I was messing up, but the tone that this guy would talk to me embarrassed me in front of my co-workers and sometimes in front of customers. One day though, that was the last straw. So one day I walked into <laughs> work to the deep five web. minutes before I was due to clock in and my manager out loud said that the window liquor is finally on time in front of customers and my co-workers. Everyone laughed at me. During my whole shift that night, he would direct smart comments toward me while still yelling at me for everything that I did wrong. Dang. I made up my mind. I was going to find that forum and give his information. On my walk home, I was going back and forth with myself about whether to do it or not. By the time I made it home, I made up my mind. I didn't shower nor did I change clothes. I went straight to my laptop and I searched. I possibly clicked maybe a hundred links because on the dark web there are links that will take you down any rabbit hole. A link named Pork Chop piqued my interest. When I clicked it, I was directed to, to make him into pork page. chops. It only says six words. We find it, we chop it. And another link that said, here's an example of what we do. I clicked it, of course. As soon as I clicked on it, the picture went to the point of view from an old school camera with the date and time in the corner of the screen. The person behind the camera approached the man and followed him. A few minutes go by and the man noticed what was happening. He turned around and approached the camera while yelling and screaming at the person for following him. Then all of a sudden you see five huge guys dressed in black wearing a pig mask run from behind the man and drag him into the dark. The person holding the camera turns the camera to his or her's face and leaves it there for about five to ten minutes. That person also wore oh a pig gosh. mask. But all you could hear was the man screaming and sounds that I don't want to describe in the background. The camera was then turned back around and the sight that I saw was disturbing. It was something that no one would ever want to see. Some people say that they wouldn't wish it on their worst enemy. But I did. Yeah. After the video was over, there were links. One said pork and the other said chop. I clicked on the pork and it prompted me to put in a code. I didn't have one so I backed out. So I clicked on chop. There was information that needed to be filled out, like name, height, description, and place. I filled out all the info for my manager. In the place, it was my job. I submitted the form. At the end of the screen, it Look said, see him. you soon. Four days later, while at work, my manager approached me and decided to apologize for the way he treated me and offered to give me more hours and said that he will work with me more often because he sees potential in me. A few sorry pal I already put the head out I'm sorry hours later it was close to the end of the night my manager helped me with the trash and took it out for me as I were putting Why chairs so on top nice? of the table getting ready to mop I looked outside and saw my manager looking over at something but he looked worried I moved to get a better look and I saw what he was looking at he was surrounded by six people in a pig mask with weapons in their hands I ran outside as they swarmed him Except for one person. He had a camera. I forgot all about these guys. 
and that I put his information on the website. I ran outside as they approached him. He looked at me for help, but I ran back inside and called the police. <laughs> oh. It took them 10 minutes to get there. When I looked back outside, what I saw was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I wish I could get the image out of my head. Between they the time that we were initially seeing them, calling the cops and running back outside, these guys were gone, but my manager was still there. I went to his funeral the next week. The next day I received an anonymous email that had the whole video. They were watching him this whole time he was on shift. I don't know how they got my email. I never provided any of my information. Till this day, I still feel sick because my manager was starting to be nice to me that day. I can't go back on the dark web. Dang, y'all see that? Be nice to people. You never know the last person that you bully just might be the one that put you in a death note or in real terms the deep web <laughs>next one is called company psa and it was uploaded by squimpus mcgrimpus one of the best fnaf tape makers on youtube this was sent to us by jungle bean who said enjoy and love you ah the love is mutual i see y'all showing love all over the place TikTok. <laughs> the spooky scary sunday sound trending y'all be sending me tweets videos y'all getting all your snacks and going in the living room and watching it with your family and yo shout out to all of y'all man welcome Ripper's family diner employees ever since the unfortunate incident from last week we've been deciding on where the company should go from here we've decided on something you talk about the bite of 87? Y'all should have been sued and shut down. Talk about incident that happened last week. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, Timmy died last week, but we're we're still open. We've been deciding on where the company should go from here. We've decided on something that will require higher effort or will ultimately be best for the company. We'll be rebranded from the ground up, replacing all of our animatronic characters with four new ones, which use much safer technology than the ones we previously used. They will no longer feature any kind of spring lock technology and will not be wearable. Wearable costumes will be completely separate. Separate? Along with the new animatronics, the rid of the main them. area of the building will be rearranged accordingly. There will be two different stages, one for the main three and another for a separate character. Wall posters will be replaced and the prize area will be restocked. Huh? After the restaurant opens back Whoa! up, the patrons might be confused about these changes. Where did Fredbear and Spring Bonnie go? Who are these new characters? In a situation where you are asked anything along these lines, here is what you say in reply. Fredbear does not exist. Spring Bonnie does not exist. Huh? Nothing happened to anyone. He does not exist. Yo... He does not exist. Okay! He does not exist. My skin is tingling. He does not exist. How many more times? <laughs> I don't exist, huh? You said you were sorry. And that you loved me. But I know you're lying. You don't love me. That's what you always said. Don't. It's coming closer. All right. Get ready for the jump scare. Oh, boy. Oh. Golden Freddy. Hey, listen. I just work here. Gold. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. I don't love you either. All right. And I'll take you with me. But I don't want to go. I'm just... So you'll know how it feels. I don't want to know how it feels. To stop existing. Oh! Hey. So obviously this video takes place 
Dr. Fred Bear's diner after William Afton put on Spring Bonnie suit, lured them kids, killed them kids. So then they come out with this company PSA. Oh, it never happened. You don't exist. But I wonder who's the announcer of the company PSA. Is it Michael? Hi, Corey. This is Stephanie Coughlin, store manager with Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Our location is now open for you to find comfort and a safe shopping experience. As our customer, we're offering a variety of shopping and service experiences to fit your needs, including virtual, private, and personal appointments. To no longer receive notifications, press 1. We are now currently scheduling appointments until October 4th. To schedule an appointment, visit LA-Z... What did I ask? The last one for this week is called No Through Road, and it was uploaded by Endrin Cole 3. There's even a little synopsis. On December 17th, four 17-year-old boys were found dead in their car at an abandoned farm. This video contains the unedited footage from the camera belonging to one of the boys. So, uh, rip? Now this was sent to us by Eric who said, be careful driving. Will do. Uh, I've had my fair share of accidents. This is my car getting towed huh okay 14 year old, all right reported yeah we read this already uh their bodies are farm all right the residence was thought to have been long abandoned but upon investigation police officers found signs of recent inhabitants the following is footage been released with family's consent wow in the hope of aiding the investigation Okay, I don't know why the f we're doing this. Me and Ollie have got work at 8 in the morning, but we're driving about in his car because we're work. absolute twats. <laughs> Does that light make a difference? Have you seen that on Mock the Week? Uh, famous last words. Stingrays love foreplay. Famous last words? I could be from the UK if I want to be. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't know where I'm from. See, the man's accent's too pang. And to be honest with you, I think it's really peak what's about to happen to these boys. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stick this down here because I can't be keep moving it. Hey, I'll see if I can. <laughs> it doesn't actually take many, except I can't Diver move to the left. Just wait for all the time. Look at the car, pull it to the left. Oh, oh, this is, wait, this is, this is a dead end. Oh, no! Oh, my coat spilled everything. Oh, my lap. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Skeleton. Oh, I don't know what it was. I can't remember. Have you ever seen this art? Give me the shit so badly. I don't think we should be here. It's like it's like a private road or so. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. Down and roll backwards. It's nearly half four. We need to get home, mate. Like. Wait, no, Ollie, please. please, please Do you just try and turn around? Can we please agree that we don't ever go back to this archway? Aye. Okay, yes. agreed. This is what? Nothing. That's four beams. What about this? Woo! Woo! Do it again! Turn it back on. Do it again! There's like a bloke in the middle of the road. I oh, would not be in a car with that, this. It will actually happen. What does the sign say? It says, we need Stephen. It says walking. Beddington. This is why every group of friends needs one black. It's a black friend in the car. He's already on top of the situation. Guys, y'all either about to lose me as a friend or we about to turn this car around. It says no through road. The freak are you doing still stepping on the gas? I'm, I'm that is no. I don't even know where that is. That's nowhere near us. Someone tell me a joke to cheer me up. Knock knock. Who's there? I don't know. I'm really lost. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually now lost. <laughs> we pulled over because we know where we are and we've been driving down this road for about an hour now. James's GPS and his phone has stopped working. Like Does it even say what time it is? My phone's just. No, I can't see no, not anything. Because there are no lights in any direction. Thank you. Anyway, that was so advertisement like. Stella. Stella. <laughs> Ollie, plans. What do we do? I don't know. I'm scared because it's down to me because I'm driving the car. <laughs> also, Go home, the Ollie. Face makes you extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it does. I get to feel Molly doing a wee wee. It's right out. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it was right out. I can't fit with my balls. A rabbit! I caught a rabbit! It's like perfectly preserved as well. It's really weird. Ah. Oh, Ollie, don't. F off. Oh, man. That is... Stop oh, it. I'm stroking it. We caught a rabbit. 
Yeah. My turn. I'm just gonna have a look up the road. Take the camera. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna see if I can see the lights. The lights are Let me get back in. No, I didn't. Sexy dude. Isn't he? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? Steve. Is he get back Steve? in. Steve. What the heck? What's what? What's Fucking the maximum? Right. Why? What? What the matter? What the hell? What's up? Stop joking. Stop being a brick, man. It's this isn't funny. funny. Oh, there was someone. There was someone, and he was like wearing some sort of mask. Oh. Uh, really want to get home now. Another car for like an hour. More than that. Scary how it's kind of part of the unit to get us home as well. Jesus, every corner feels like the same. It's, it's so familiar, isn't it? Have you not got a signal? No, no, it's a sign, it's a sign. It's a sign. It's okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. And it's... What is it? Bedding's gonna get out. What? Nah, if it was. No. Wait. Oh my god. I know Wait, stop, stop. No. Yeah, no, we just got in a, a little circle, so... It's we didn't... Uh, we Bedding, kind of wait, no, Bennington's in the middle. That's all it is. Bennington is too... We've been going in a straight line. No, we, no, we haven't. It's been, it's been left, I swear. I absolutely swear. No, we didn't take any turns. No, it doesn't matter. The, the road is curved. Relax, man. No, it's... Do you want to go to Bennington to prove it? Do we turn, do we turn it's around? It's not saying man, it's like, that's like your f***ing... <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Oh my goodness! Oh, come No. No. I'm turning the camera off. No, that's right. Oh, f***ing hell, what's oh, that building? That Jesus! It's like a prison. It's a plan. I think the only thing we can do is keep driving until... Gosh, in a straight line. And don't take any corners until we end up somewhere. Must have been going for about two and a half hours now, maybe three. And I had no idea what time it is. <laughs> And it's winter, so the sun doesn't come out too late. Hey, the don't go to the Wicker Man town. Can you stop talking about the Wicker Man? <laughs> We're in the middle of the country. There's gonna be pagans running after us. That wait, wait, stop. wait, 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 wait. What sign is this? Stop. No, no, stop. That's a, stop. It's, it's the same the sign, dude. Oh my god. Oh, you're a bunch of twats. Pull, 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 no, no. Steve, you've just I fell asleep. You've just driven past it again. No, we're not. That's horrible. Hazards, hazards, hazards. Hazard. Stop. Doing all that kind of so annoying. I'm checking that sign. It cannot be the same. Just go. I don't want to stay here. But oh, Chris, oh. Ollie, I don't want to drive down this road anymore. We've done it three times and we haven't got anywhere. Okay, should we try that way then? Let's try and go towards bottom. You put the radio on. Yeah, but might as well. Hang on a sec, Ollie. I can't get the seat. What is this? Oh, it's like the scariest thing ever. What station was that? Pirate. I don't know, it's never been no, a it was pirate, that was from Does it, like, you guys that we haven't seen another car for about two, maybe three hours now? We haven't seen another car! I see lights. You're on I a see twilight zone! I see roundabout. Roundabout. <laughs> 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 I see trees! Look guys, look! Oh my god! Stevenage! Yes! Ah, oh, finally! Ah! <laughs> Headlights. Oh, oh love. Car. Jesus. Hello. Uh, I wanted yeah. to be a baker, but I couldn't make the dough. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got fing leather hands. <laughs> Stevenage. Stevenage. Welcome to Stevenage. Wow. Oh, hey guys. Stevenage. Hey guys. Last. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Huh? What the f How did we get here? We were just on the f. Just reverse, Ollie. Reverse. Go on. What do we do? Why do just, you just, just don't say it. I don't want to say it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, don't God. point the camera at me. That hand scared the freak out of me. What are you doing? Turn it back on. It's not me. I, I, I can't turn the turn bloody lights on. Oh,
handling. Hot beans. Cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> That was a whole movie we just watched. That was only nine minutes. I just felt like I was watching that for an hour and a half. That's like taking a regular movie and condensing it to the best 10 minutes. Oh, that was stressful. Oh, that was so good. That freaking tune that was playing at the end, this one. <laughs> this was on some puppet combo stuff. Well played well freaking played this is probably in my top three videos i've ever reacted to in spooky scary sunday no through road that is carrying this week alone this is a 10 week because of that y'all brought it y'all brought it this week all right you guys Another spooky scary Sunday in the books. That tune is gonna be playing in my head like for the rest of the day. When it gets dark outside, I'm gonna be thinking about that tune. And now you will be too. Spooky scary Sunday guys. See you next week. Come on Momo. <laughs> Cause my name is Curry Kinchin.